Good evening, everyone. This is Penny of Penny and Whitney of Whitney Art LLC. And we are coming to you live from Tattnall Square Park. And uh, we are just going to show you around a little bit and talk a little bit about what we're going to do this coming Saturday. Remember, we are going to be live here from 6 until 7 o'clock Saturday night. And as an extra bonus to all of our fans out there, we are going to have a giveaway. And let me show you. It's not really a giveaway. It's more of a, a trade-off, if you will. So let me show you what it is that we will be trading off. This is a beautiful, we're, we're very anxious for fall to come around. And so Whitney has painted this beautiful fall foil, foil, foil I can't say the word, but <laughs> the leaves <laughs> uh, getting ready for the fall as the leaves are falling off the trees, anticipating this. Uh, this will be free to the first person who comes down here. So here's the trade off. You have to come down here and see us so we can say hello to you in person. We also would like for you to go on camera and on camera on Facebook Live like we are here. We would like for you to tell us who you are and we would like for you to tell us why you like the painting. And additionally, we would like for you to tell us what you plan on doing with the painting. So a couple of things in order to, to get this, this beautiful original Whitney art inventoried and ready to go and getting us all ready for fall. So what we're doing this evening is Whitney will be in just a moment sketching out the fountain as you can see here. The fountain that he's going to be uh, painting this Saturday again Saturday from 6 until 7 and um, please do join us live we would absolutely love for for you to come down and to uh, participate uh, even just to say hello you don't have to paint you can just say hello and see how how we're doing and see how the painting's coming along so what we're going to do now is turn it over to Whitney so he can get started on sketching out the um, fountain for this coming up Saturday right. All right, it, Caitlin, hey, how are you? Um, can you hear us? Is this thing, is the volume, is the sound on? Maybe she, she might not still be watching. All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go over a little bit about my process, my technique, what I do to set up a painting, what I do to look at it. And um, if you have any comments or questions or anything, be sure and if you tell me, if you type the con can type the comments out, I can answer the question live. So that might, it would help. That might could help. So the first thing that I want to do is get some indications of the composition and what I want to do. What I'll do is start with this post right here and I'll put it right there. And I'll just go from there. I could come over here on this corner. I about like to uh, use the trees here. So I've got the building actually right here between those tree limbs and this line right there. So that evident that will right there be that bench and all i want to do is just indicate it right there where it's at and i've got the stones this is going to be so much fun because i've got all these fun what? fun bushes around here we are going to get a good I want what a, the, my main objective is to familiarize just get comfortable 
with the subject. I know this is this is the last bush over here, and then the fountain. I probably let's see. I want to probably take it up to where I can do whatever. Whatever I want to do there, and then we'll see see how that looks. So that's about all I want to do. I want to get my horizon line. I guess it, this is beautiful out here. Beautiful. And that's that's a lot of room there. There's a, as you see, there's a little bench right there. And that's where that tree is. I might move that over a little bit. But that's one of the trees that I want to get in there. And here's here's the main tree. This is this is just gorgeous. And what I want to do with this is I have got a leaf that is this is the leaf that is coming off this tree. Now I want to just keep it right about here. I might move this over a little bit. We'll see. But this is what I want to do with, with the tree right this tree i want to just change it i don't i didn't want to change it and make that's that will be the shape of that tree so that won't look like it is unfortunately <coughs> that won't look like it is in the real picture this will be an artistic interpretation of the what i think the tree should look like and trees if you know trees grow in the shape of their leaves so if you look at it if the tree was grow grew in in a in its natural state perfectly pruned it would look like this and the branches and everything would would be that way so that's what i'm going to do today and sketch this out and i'll look at it and decide the other tree is a magnolia and this magnolia the magnolia tree is right behind this tree right here this honey this is what i'll do with the magnolia tree is that will be the magnolia tree this and this is that other tree and I will just use that for the color because I like the shape of the tree. Sometimes the shape of the tree, if it has been taken good care of, I like to honor that by actually making it, making that tree the way it looks. And I will put this, what it, do you know what this is, honey? This is the law, is this the lawyer, law building? right here um it's part of the school i'm not sure what what part of the school it is all right this is mercer oh i see i went to mercer a long time ago in the 80s and i was in the engineering department with mary severson she was the uh chemical engineer and uh i think she did a lot of things she was the amazing woman she taught me how soap works <laughs> isn't that amazing it's not the soap that washes the dirt off your hands the soap breaks up the oil film that traps the dirt on your hand and when you break up that oil the dirt washes off with water so i thought that was pretty cool and it's those simple things you know that uh i think are important to 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 be happy about all right so let's get into why um why am I doing this? So why don't I want to make the tree look like it is? I might. I don't know. We'll see. Put in the comments if you want to comment. What would you? What do you think? Do you think it would be interesting to see what that tree should look like uh, if it was not? It looked like it might have been harmed in a in a in a storm or something. That's a possibility. I don't know it just looks lopsided to me if you look at one side of it one side of that tree looks like the leaf look at it if you really look at it honey look mm -hmm. 
You see that? Mm -hmm. So if you see, if you look at the left side of the tree, boom, 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 and put that leaf up to it, that's what that tree would look like. So this is missing, that tree, it looks like it's missing this part. And I'm gonna put it in. You know, it's missing that, it looks, it may be missing that part because you can't see this. Mm, maybe. But guess what? <laughs> I'm gonna make it so you can see it. All right. That's why I'm gonna put this right here and this will be an interesting, I might may even move it over a little bit. I might move this whole thing. Away. No, you know, because this is just as interesting right here. What are you drawing now? This is the other magnolia over here and I'll just do those the way they are because they're beautiful. Sometimes if they're pruned right, I, I love the way they look and I'll do it that way. So lots of sky in there, lots of yellows. I'm definitely gonna use some yellow ochre on these, uh, on these magnolias. Lots of deep greens. Um, red is great to add with, to your green. Uh, gives it a, a, wonderful, a wonderful deep dark color, natural. The benches, they're gonna be a lot of fun. Look at these. There's so, so many wonderful things that we can do. Look at that. And the, look at that light post right there. That lamp post is going to be so much fun. We're going to get into the fountain right here. Now on the plain air part of it, what we're going to do is just get the impression of it. Just get the feel of it. Try to understand a little bit uh, about the energy of it it's a beautiful fountain and what we'll do is go around and you guys will give you a tour my wife penny right we'll go around and they there there's a lot to this fountain it's a beautiful wonderful fountain we're going to take a tour of it on saturday we'll take a, a proper tour oh if you haven't seen it come down check it out the lights we do the we're gonna we're, we're doing the plain air now from six to seven this coming saturday six to seven the light the the way the light the sun is coming from from the the sun is coming this way so we're gonna have beautiful light right in this area um we're gonna whew, look honey we got the some some We've got a lot to play with, so it's a lot going on. I like to get kind of an idea of what, about how, how tall people would be. Well, we have people walking around, so that might help. Yeah, so this, people are about this size in here. I want to get this, this tree right here. Some limbs, so that's all I'm going to do here. That's a pretty solid tree right, right in there. And we're just going to have fun. If you want to come out and watch, we had more than happy to. That would be great. If you like art, if you love art, we are all about unity in the art community, right, Penny? Absolutely. Unity in the art community. We we love working with other artists, and we don't get involved with your art. You know, we let we don't uh, do that. Your art is your art. <clears throat> You know, I wouldn't, uh, I love all art. Everything is art. If, uh, you'll see, it's so, so much fun. It's, it's good to connect with the, uh, with the community. And we love, we love a anyone that has the artistic spirit. If you can't, if you can't paint, guess what? It's because you're telling yourself that you can't. Stop telling yourself that you can't and start saying, I can't. <laughs> that's my rant for the day, right? All right, that's enough. <laughs> this is a non, you know, a non, uh, what would you call it? Non-political. Non-political. This is non-political. Art can be. We want to go and we want to go the, the days of the, um, the craziness I don't know. I guess it'll always exist. I don't want to get started on stuff like that. Needless to say, 
I do, I have, a, I have strong opinions about things that don't matter. <laughs> right? <laughs> yep. I love to have passionate opinions about meaningless things. And don't forget everyone, we have this painting. This painting, and what you have to do is come down here and, tell, and go on live video and tell us who you are and what you do. If you're an artist, tell us where we can buy your art. And this is a $500 value for, because we want to get to know you. We want to get to know you as an artist, as a community, and we want to bring all of the uh, communities together here in Macon so that we can share our differences and be proud of them. The, the, uh, the art galleries are incredible. There's some new emerging artists from this very school that have their art presented downtown that is absolutely amazing. Check it out. Shout out to Randy Hart. Main man, inspiring artist. We love inspiring artists and that's what we're all about at Whitney Art. Mm -hmm. If it inspires and uplifts, then we're all about that. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, and so take a look at this. Okay, so shout out to everybody watching. If you're watching this later, also one of our uh, well, actually, a couple of our wonderful local artists had come, have already come out and painted with us at the Washington Park, Thomas and Richard. And you guys look them up. They're in our uh, Facebook art group, uh, art group, uh, show, buy, sell, and discuss. And if you haven't uh, joined the art group, be sure and, and sign up for that so you can get all the latest information. And if I'm talking too fast... Guess what? <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> and uh, I'll slow it down so you can understand um, everything or rewind it. Uh, hopefully, I got, you, we can under, uh, you can hear me. If you can't, is there any, any comments so far? Any questions? How many, do, is anybody else watching? Okay. So if you're going to be watching this later... Uh, Shout out to those guys. Hopefully we'll make it Friday. Thomas has got his, an event downtown. And uh, you guys check that out for sure. Uh, shout out to my artist, Emily. She's, she's doing good. I think we, we, uh, we, will get our, we will get everything worked out so that we'll make sure we're on the, we're on the right path. And uh, the contest, if you're a photographer, join uh please, please enter the contest it's amazing and you get uh, a lot of good networking from it uh meet a lot of good artists i'm excited i got to meet guess who i got to meet ah uh, shirley rainwater amazing art teacher uh here locally in macon she will she can paint your windows 742-1411 uh, give her a call, and she's amazing. Uh, absolutely beautiful work. She will she can paint on window windows. Uh, shout out to all the art teachers out there. You guys, had, I, my art teacher uh, uh, was Barbara Hutto at Macon College. Uh, wonderful teacher. She taught me all about craftsmanship and a lot of the philosophies and art history and things like that. So I have a lot of roots here in Macon. I love this fountain. We're gonna just hang around and enjoy the fountain for a little while. And if you're in the area and you know about this and you're watching this right now, we don't, I don't, I don't think anybody's gonna come rushing down today, but if you are, if you hear this, if you get the chance to see this video, um, you can all you can we will have it with us on saturday if somebody doesn't stop by and say hey i want the painting i know what's going on my name is and uh we'll have it with us on saturday so you can get it then we'll be here from six to seven on saturday and but you have to go on live and tell us who you are you can't be shy <laughs> That's right yeah so it's a good way to to tell the community who you are, the, the ones that are interested in plain air, 
if you're interested in plein air come out bring your kit uh um paint with us right, right. And, and guess what it doesn't matter if you just want to put just a little bit of paint right here or uh, uh if you just want to get started maybe you just want to get started so if you're just joining us what we're doing right now is um whitney has just sketched out um the, you're has just sketched out what he's going to be painting this coming oh uh, hold on honey honey oh I'm sorry. Let me let me film you now. I got it. All right. Let's say that still work. All right. Here's the drawing, and I'm pretty much done. I've got I've got all my I got all the indications. I've got all my indications in of where I want everything to go, and the light is beautiful at about when was it about seven? No, it is seven forty. Okay. So now y'all know what we're getting ready, what we're doing tonight. Um, come, we came out here just to get started on our plein air and sketch out a little bit of what's going to happen. Scope out the scene as far as uh, seeing where we want to stand when we actually do the painting. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying a moment ago, what, what I'll do on this coming Saturday too is while Whitney's painting, we'll take a little tour of the fountain around here. So y'all can get a good idea of what it really looks like a little bit closer up um, and don't forget again one more time we have this painting over here that we are going to trade off they can rewind and uh, trade off by um, you telling us who you are why you like the painting and what you plan on doing with it mm -hmm. so that is it for the evening and we appreciate you all watching us Thank you to all of our fans out there. We are much appreciate everything and we love you all. And we will see you on Saturday night from six o'clock to seven, seven o'clock. Look at that. That's what it's all about right there. The beauty of this community is outstanding. The contributions and beautiful culture is fantastic. And we support that. For sure. Absolutely. You guys just enjoy the view, if anything. If you don't have anything to do, uh, what's that? Tomorrow's Friday and then Saturday. Mm -hmm. All right. Two days from now, we'll be right here. Just come on down and relax. If it's raining, we won't. <laughs> we'll do it out of the studio. If we, if we, if it's raining, we'll we'll do something in the studio. So and uh, there you go. So thanks, and if you're watching this later, just comment, and that's it. Thank you, guys.